for work in D.C. should brace for a messy morning commute. The Third Street Tunnel closed because of a water main break and its impact will continue to be felt into tomorrow. Fox 5's Natalie Rubino reports from Northwest tonight. Seven buildings near 4th and L Streets lost water for hours today. It has since been turned back on. But look, you see an officer here blocking this ramp and another one down here blocking off the 3rd Street Tunnel. This road closed for hours and it likely will not reopen in time for tomorrow morning's commute. We continue to advise commuters to avoid uh, this area entirely uh, until we are able um, to open um, the roads. This is what it looked like under the 3rd Street Bridge earlier today. D.C. police sharing the video of the sinkhole on Twitter. It happened thanks to a water main break that crews are still trying to fix. We do not know how long that's going to take because we have not identified exactly where the break is at at this time. We have identified which main it is on. The CEO of D.C. Water says most of the day was focused on restoring water to the nearly 400 units who lost it. It's been off since 8 o'clock this morning. It came on for about an hour or so and it went back out. Now it's back on. Some units even lost A.C. Ruth Baker says the city tried to help by bringing bottles of water, which she's grateful for, but says the situation is still frustrating. When it came back on, we were elated. When it went back off, you, you're, you're sad because now you can't use the bathroom. I don't care how many bottles of water you give us, it's not enough to flush the toilet. Mayor Muriel Bowser says the city is doing everything it can to fix the break and used the opportunity to push the importance of the government investing in infrastructure. This is an example of when that infrastructure fails, uh, the ripple effects that it can have. Uh, closing down certainly for uh, we've had a morning commute and an evening commute affected. I can assure you that we're going to um, support D.C. water in every way that we can so we can minimize that disruption. The good news, Mayor Bowser said an initial examination showed no damage to the tunnel. They're still working on examining the roadways and repairing the damage. But again, all commuters are being asked to avoid this area. Back to you.